for you here today. This looks like a little stick welder, about a 100 amp stick welder. I've had it for about, let's see, 10 years now. I think I got it back in 06, 07. And uh, it's never failed me, great little welder. Uh, you can pick them up cheap on eBay right now. But I'm going to be doing some TIG welding with this machine. So let me show you how I adapt this machine to run a DC TIG torch like you have here. All right, so I have my torch and that is on a power cable and it also carries argon. And if you follow that around, you will find that I have the torch plugged into the top of this block right here to an adapter, right? And then I have a gas hose that goes all the way around to my argon bottle right here. And if you have those two things, and the gas can flow from the line to the powered cable for your TIG torch, all you have to do for a stick welder to turn it into a TIG welder is get your ground clamp for stick welding and clip it on to the adapter. And voila, you have a TIG welder. So I'm going to put this up on the tripod and show y'all that this is indeed a functioning TIG welder. <clears throat> I'm going to move the ground over here just so that it doesn't uh, get in the way. I'm going to take this off the metal table because this will be uh, the stinger side of the TIG setup. So even though the polarity is backwards, and the stinger and torch is on the negative side, the ground is on the positive and it's still always an open circuit. So as soon as you touch the torch to the table or to your ground or the adapter, anything like that, that will complete the circuit and uh, could be dangerous. So make sure you keep those separated and always treat this like a live electrode for as long as the machine is on. So. Here's a little sample. Let me turn on my argon. Now for this setup, you will want a valved torch. And uh, if you don't have a valved torch, you can, I guess, just turn your bottle on and off, but you'll be wasting a lot of argon. And if you have a valved torch, let's do that at about 25 foot pound, or uh, cubic feet per hour. Um, okay. So I was just making sure there wasn't a leak. So I have it hooked up directly to my regulator and um, just have a valve here on the torch that I can operate and it just pumps argon through. So I'm gonna start this up and do a little bit of quick TIG welding on this practice piece. Um, let me zoom in on that and just show you how capable of a little TIG machine this is and just how cheaply you can get into TIG welding. A lot of people think it's some big expensive machine, but if you're just starting out, you can get like a $50 torch and a $100 welder that you're not afraid to you know, mess with. Um, buy the adapter, $16 on Amazon, and buy you a torch, I mean, $50 torch, $25 regulator, go rent the bottle from your local oxygen supply store, and uh, you'll have a fully functional TIG welder. So even the, the Cracker Box Lincoln 225 will be an AC TIG welder that you can use very, very well. So here's how this welds real quick. I'm just showing you that it works. And here we go. Now it's scratch start only. But um, with scratch start, you just have to move fast and make sure that you pull back away from the piece as you actually weld. And stopping it is also somewhat difficult. Let me put on, I'm going to pause this video and put on some gloves and actually get down and do some real welding real quick. One second. All right, 
right, so I changed the stick out a little bit while I was off camera and uh, I flipped this piece around and there's about an eighth inch gap underneath it and I'm gonna try to walk the cup to fill the gap um, using ER70S2, ER70S6 uh, filler wire and I'm gonna try to fill that gap and get a good weld with a maybe $200 total TIG setup. So I'll show you what I can do. Here we go. Here we go. I know these gloves are ridiculous for TIG welding, but I don't have on sleeves and I'd rather not get burned, so stick gloves it is. You gotta make do with what you have. Awesome, my piece keeps moving on me. Alright, I'm gonna tack, tack this piece down real quick. Alright, so this and my work piece are now one, and I'm gonna do just a little TIG weave bead on top of it. Just walking the cup. I'm going to terminate the arc there. I don't think that was actually a very good weld, but uh, I guess if I wanted to go back over this later, I could. But basically, what I'm getting at with this video is that with a hundred dollar welder and about a hundred dollars of additional parts you can have a fully capable DC TIG machine just based on having a stick welder and that's awesome. TIG welding is so perfect for just it's slow but it's a very precise weld so I'm gonna go back over this just uh, no filler wire to try to melt it in a little more smoothly <laughs> and then I'll give you some art shots So my technique is obviously lacking very strongly. I'm not an experienced walker of the cup, but some people can make this look really, really good. And uh, I'll get there. I'm just not there yet. I will say half of it's probably just being filmed. But yeah, that's, that's how you get, you know, TIG welding out of a little a little cheap, uh, cheap welder like this. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, this is a Best Welds Flexi Torch. Um, I love it. It's lasted probably five years. I've never had a single problem out of it. So I think I got it at Praxair. I don't know if that's a national chain or not, but love the torch. Uh, the adapters are cheap, probably around $10, $12. Cheap regulator. Rent the argon bottle and you can be TIG welding in no time. So, good luck out there. This is Weld at 321. Please subscribe and comment. It, uh, it really helped me out. Thank you.